the Cummins Repower program as a whole is selling directly to consumers. And that's exactly how Fussy Cummins uh, started the company. He was selling engines through the Sears catalog. I mean, I think that was definitely one of the founding reasons that we wanted to do this kind of repower program was to get back to that kind of enthusiast vision of Cummins. We're all working together to, to put something out here for anybody and everybody that wants wants an engine because it's right now it's hard to get that stuff. You basically have to go to a junkyard, pull something out of a bread chuck, and then you're going to have to go through the motor and you don't know what you're getting and all that. So this is just a easier, complete package. There isn't really another small crate diesel engine out there. I mean, your other options for diesel engines are junkyard. So what you'd have to do is you have to find maybe a 4BT or a 5.9. The 4BT has been this beloved slop and it was always the smallest Cummins engine people could get their hands on. But it wouldn't be a good engine for something like this. This is a stock form Land Rover or the stock Jeep Wranglers we have with us on the trip. 4Bs are just big. So we got to the R2.8 turbo diesel as our first crate engine. We had done a lot of survey work for a couple years. Uh, we went to shows, uh, Overland shows, and obviously the SEMA show, and people really wanted that four cylinder. Most of the vehicles that people were saying they wanted to repower were just the right size for the 2.8. We ran a voice of customer survey saying exactly that, you know, what vehicles do you want to put this in? What size engine would you need? What kind of power and torque would you want? So we took that information and, and picked out the 2.8 liter to start with. The R2.8 is actually modeled off of our ISF 2.8, which has been in production for about nine years, and the whole development of that engine is identical to any of the other automotive engines that we make. When we go to the R2.8, it's a more modern diesel. It's easier to integrate. You don't have to be a diesel guru or diesel technician to work with this. It's all plug and play, and that was the whole idea of it. So we wanted to give you the benefit of the Cummins with the simplicity of any other crate engine swap that you do, and we actually wanted to exceed the simplicity. So with the R28, uh, to make that kit as easy as possible, we included everything, the front end accessory drive, alternator, power steering pump, a vacuum pump. So if you want to run your vacuum brake booster, a lot of guys uh, you know, with a gas engine to begin with, they have vacuum accessories. Uh, so we provide that, the full wiring harness, the engine control module, uh, we have a MAF intake uh, housing and sensor, and then on the interior side we also have a harness that's key switch, dummy lights, so if you want to run a mill lamp into your stock gauges. If you don't want to run any of that, we provide a CAN display that has check engine lights and reads all your engine vitals, and we provide the throttle pedal and all that wiring. So out of the box, you don't have diesel, you don't have a battery, and you don't have a cooling package. Those are the three things you need to have a running engine. The fact that you get all of that in one package in this small four-cylinder diesel that's perfect for vehicles like, you know, like a Jeep or a Land Rover or even a Volvo uh, sports car, it's just a really, really neat package. And I think that's what sort of makes it so different than anything else that's out there right now. I think that's what makes the R2.8 really so special.